Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to hide the emitter for the lights and still keep the light in the scene. So let's get started. Okay, so you want to start off by switching to Cycles Render for better shading. So switch from Blend Render to Cycles Render. Then uh, left click under the cube and we're going to start adding a plane. Just the basic floor, S to scale. And then we're going to delete the uh, default light, so click X to delete, then add a plane. This is going to be our first light, R to rotate, G to grab, and S to scale. And we're going to go to the top view. So click um, number 7 to go to the top view. And then you want to click uh, Shift D to duplicate. Then click R set to rotate it on the Z axis, S to scale. And click Shift D again to add another one. This is going to be the backlight and click S to scale. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the um, emission to the uh, planes. It's going to be the light, obviously. So go into the settings, go into materials and add new. Just go into rendered mode to see how it looks. Okay, so select emission and you should increase the strength so that it actually has some power. Okay, so 7. You can make it even higher or even lower. I'm probably going to change the values a few times in this tutorial so you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing. You can also make the lighting a little bit more yellow, which is going to make the final render look a little bit better and more natural. And then you just select the other planes and add the same material on the left side of the new material button. Okay, so now we have lights on all the planes. And I'm going to start adding some materials before I show you how to actually remove the lights or remove the emitters without losing the lights. That's the basic point. Okay, so select the cube and just use nodes and add a color. Doesn't really matter for what we're going to learn in this tutorial, but I'm still showing it for beginners. Okay, so now I have lights for everything. And let's well, go back to solid mode and make sure to click Shift F to go into fly cam mode and move backwards with the button S. You move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game. And as you see now, I'm just going to scale up the cube. You'll see that we have the lights still in the render if we go down to rendered mode. And now I'm going to show you how to hide these without actually losing the light. So let's go back to solid mode, select the plane, select the cube icon and then scroll down to the bottom and click cycle settings. And you want to disable camera for ray visibility. And if you go back to rendered mode now you can see that it's removed. So I'm going to do it on all the three lights. And as you can see now we no longer have any visible light emitters in the scene which is perfect for a render i hope you learned something new in this tutorial and thank you for watching